Okay, I am now going to show you how to use the Puppet Pin Tool. Okay, so I took this from the Myers Media. It's just a fish that already has an alpha channel. And if you remember, we went over alpha channels. So video is made up of red, green, and blue. And you can look at the individual channels to see what the luminosity in the, is for each of the individual channels. And later on, we're going to mess around with these in greater detail when we get into color correction, but this is what the alpha channel looks like. So there was a, um, a transparency that uh, shows you what the mat looks like. Okay, and so when you're using the puppet pin tool, you really have to be working with something that has an alpha channel. Otherwise, it's going to drag all this black area along with it. Okay, so what I need to do is go back to RGB. The puppet pin tool is this little tool here. Okay, when I activate that, notice it turns blue. Now, people make the mistake of thinking about uh, the puppet pin similarly as they do about when they're trying to cut something out and they go all the way along the edges. That is not the way the puppet pin tool works. The puppet pin imagines you, you want to lock down the places where there, are, there would be a joint. Like, what is it swiveling around? And what do you want to keep still? So if I want his head to stay still, I might put a pin right there. Maybe I want this top fin to not move. The center, I don't want it to move. And maybe this thing, I don't want to move. Uh, and I only want the tail to move over here. So at this point, I'll take the puppet pin. And now you can see that I can just drag this around. And our fish is now moving his tail around. OK, and all these are animatable. So if I went to my effect control, you will see the puppet is up here. And then if you come down to the bottom, you'll see that these mesh has, for every single one of these pins that I created, it created a separate um, thing that could be animated. The thing that I want to show you about the puppet pin tool is that now I can, let's say, this is puppet number eight, because it's highlighted over here. So if I moved it in time and took this guy and moved it, now it's going to animate from there to there. And that's pretty cool. But even better is that notice at the top here you have something called record options. So what I could do is if I hold down the command key and move this around, notice it turns into a little clock. I'm going to drag it around and what it's doing is it's recording this animation. Look at that. And now when I let go, now I can see that it just recorded the animation of the fish wiggling his tail around. Pretty cool. Okay, and just to show you a little bit more, uh, let's get turn on, let's turn off the visibility of our fish for a minute. And we're going to take this medical arm thing, and I'm going to just drop him over here. The reason I want to show this one is because we could imagine it being an arm, and let's say you created some kind of animation. And so with this thing here, I'm going to create my puppet pins where the joint is. Okay, and so I have the joint, and then I have this thing at the end, and over here. So I only made three pin tools. And so now if I move this around, you can see what you're working with. You see how it kind of moves, and that could be good. In this situation, this is a prosthetic arm, so this part should not be moving. So maybe I'll make another pin in the middle, and then move it around this way. So it does have that kind of fluidity to it that kind of makes it look like a puppet thing. But, you know, depending on what you want to do, sometimes it gets really weird, like they fold in and on each other. But that gives you an idea of how you could make this thing move. Now the problem with putting these other pins in over here is now if I want to move this, it doesn't move on that joint. So maybe I want to remove these pins. I just selected them, I, I, I click, selected them, and hit delete. And now when I try to move this one, it can go that way. So you can do all kinds of weird stuff with it, which is kind of cool. Easily morphs these objects.